Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and it's me, Sherlin. Today I want to make user review of my favorite microphone right here. I actually, it's still my favorite because it's my first condenser microphone. <laughs> so yeah, um, I want to talk about um, the overall, the overview of uh, the microphone itself and is it worth that you can uh, use it over your headset microphone. So if you are ready, let's get to it. I want to start with the build quality first. For uh, so for the build quality is really nice. I mean, I've heard from my friend that Razer, sometimes you might get like not kind of good quality product, but right here, the material, the paint is really nice. And um, you can uh, see it right here. It's a plastic, but they paint it, give a feel of uh, the metallic uh, material right here. The stand right here is really firm. Like you can see me move it. It's really firm it's not going to you know move by itself and your music which is um, probably can't get you annoyed oh <laughs> and then let's move on to the design and that's also the reason i chose it i got not much space on my desk so this one has a really nice um small and minimal design you got like a capsule the side of the uh, body of uh, the condenser mic itself and uh, the stand of it right here is not that large but it's really firm so I can put it just um, in front of me which is, has um, some space between my keyboard and and me so yeah it's really nice just fit right to my setup after I have been using it for weeks now I found that on live stream it's it cuts all the, the sound from my room, like the air conditioner or the sound outside of my room. But it picks up, you know, a little bit of keyboard sound. It's a normal thing for a condenser mic like that. That's why you need a microphone boom arm. But it never picks up the vibration from my keyboard, which is, I love it so much. The sound is really nice. I mean, it's, it's impressive for me. Um, this is my first um, condenser microphone so I cannot make a comparison but after I have heard my voice I'm kind of impressed it picks up almost of uh, the tone of my voice so yeah I love it let's move on to the question that does it worth to use this condenser microphone over your headset microphone after I've been using this one compared with my headset microphone I found that for if you're recording one gaming as I said that the mic picks up the keyboard sound, you probably need a boom arm for that if you um, hate to have a keyboard sound in your video. But for uh, gaming with your friends, if you're using Discord, the Discord doesn't pick up uh, everything around it, it already picks up your voice, which is really nice. So yeah, you can have less worry with that, that your friend will get annoy you mid game <laughs> and kick you off the match. Yeah, you can use it over your headset microphone and and yeah, the reason I bought this one because my headset microphone is dead <laughs> and yeah, I found that it's very useful and uh, convenient and also have a good voice. So yeah, this is my thought so far of this microphone. I probably uh, make a review again but I have a boom arm uh, in the future. Also, you can have a, a budget condenser microphone. It is the HyperX solo cast so yeah i will put the link of the hyperx down below in case you want to take a look at it it's a nice one as well but i prefer this one so yeah just before we leave don't forget to subscribe and click the like button let me know your thought after you have watched my review and if you think it's useful don't forget to share if you have anything to tell me to improve um, in the next video just leave it in the comment and appreciate every thought from you guys thanks for all the support see you on the next video guys take care stay safe and have a good one